video i'm going to be comparing the two solaris movies the 2002 film along with the 1972 movie to chicken run one and two from dreamworks animation first of all when it comes to highest score for each franchise in the case of solaris highest score is a 93 percent for the 1972 movie in the case in the case of Chicken Run, highest score is 97% for the first movie. Chicken Run wins this round. And then when you look at lowest score with Solaris, the 2002 movie with Bruce Willis has a 66%. Chicken Run 2, Dawn of the Nuggets has an 81%. Chicken Run wins this round. Then when you look at average score, Solaris has an average of 79. Chicken Run has an average of 89. Chicken Run wins again. Then when you look at a gap between lowest and highest score, in the case of Chicken Run, you have a gap of 16. Between those two scores of Solaris, you have a gap of 27 between those two scores. So Chicken Run wins again, meaning Chicken Run's going to win this debate regardless of my personal opinion. But let's look at it now. Which franchise do I prefer? I would say the Chicken Run is an example of a great DreamWorks franchise. I think... That first movie is just fantastic. It has a really compelling story, interesting characters. I like the voice acting here. I think the stop motion visuals are really good. I think that the idea that you have all these chickens living on a farm and one of them is really passionate about freedom, trying to figure out a way to set all the chickens free so they don't have to be under the grip of Miss Tweedy. I think that's really interesting. And I think the second movie, Dawn of the Nuggets, that's a solid sequel right there that continues the story because we learn after all the chickens made the escape from the farm, which we saw in the first film, they're now living on this island and everyone's happy there. But then when it comes to Rocky and her main chicken lady's child she actually is feeling that call to explore outside of the island she's curious about what's out there wants to explore that leads to her actually heading to this place that as it turns out is making chicken nuggets and we also learn that oh miss tweety is actually there so our chickens actually see miss tweety again and we learn that she along with this guy that's working for her they've created this new machine that can turn chickens into these really tasty nuggets i think that's a solid way to continue this franchise i think that's pretty clever and also by the end of the movie the parents have learned to better connect with their child and actually they free even more chickens here because all the chickens that were being held captive at that building they're actually set free by the end of the movie it's just really heartwarming in the case of solaris i definitely like both these movies i think they're really well done they're certainly slower paced movies that don't like really have a ton of action in them they're certainly not about spectacle they're sci-fi movies for adults that's the way i would phrase it because they're more character focused more introspective more about looking at what these characters are going through what they're struggling with i think it's pretty interesting though i will say it the end of the day if i was to ask myself a question which set of movies am i more likely to rewatch? i will say i am more likely to rewatch chicken run than solaris the chicken run movies are just intentionally more fun more entertaining so they're easier to watch whereas if solaris they're more serious movies that are not as light-hearted that are slower paced more introspective so I'm like, okay, these movies are really well done, but there are other films that I would rather re-watch. I have more of a desire to re-watch. So this is an interesting question, honestly, for me, deciding 
which set of movies is better because i think both solaris and chicken run accomplished what they were setting out to accomplish really well i don't have big problems with any of these movies so no matter which one i pick it's certainly not meant as any kind of knock against the other one i think it the end of the day, I'm going to choose uh, and choose Chicken Run, just because I think that of these movies being stop motion, they're a little bit more unique, a little more distinct. I really like the way these movies look. I think they also just have great story and characters. With Solaris, I mean, the visuals are good for sure. They're not in any way bad. No, they're really well done. But it's inherently a little bit more standard than what you see in Chicken Run. I also, as I talked about just a little bit earlier, Chicken Run is a set of movies that we're likely to rewatch. That'll wrap things up for this video chicken run won this debate.